your favorite St. Louis American, a.k.a. Brother Need a New Phone. Back with some legendary black history from St. Louis. This time, I want to talk about Frida Josephine McDonald, better known to y'all as Josephine Baker, the lady who made their banana dress famous. I'm going to inform you as much as I can about this woman, but I advise you to go do research on your own, and what you find out about her will surprise you. I just made that rhyme. But anyway, she got so many layers to her. She's an actress, singer, vedette, civil rights activist, and a wartime hero. She was the first black woman to do so many things. She was the first international superstar, the first black woman to star in a major motion picture. She was socially aware and against the racist show bit back then, standing up for civil rights when it wasn't cool to do that. The United States don't celebrate this woman like they supposed to, man, because I think she was accused of treason. I ain't 100% fact about that, but I know she got down with the French when in World War II. She was not down with the United States of America racism. She refused to perform for segregated audiences. That's why she figured she'd go to France and perform where everybody can spend their money. In November of 2021, she was entered into the Pantheon of Paris, the first black woman to receive France's highest honors. Now, this is something a lot of entertainers don't have on their resume. She was a spy for the French. She used her fame and her celebrity and her traveling privileges to get close to people high up in other countries. And she got a lot of secrets from them. Look at that woman. Ain't she beautiful? I tell her some wartime secrets too. That's right. That's why they recognize her as such a great hero because she got down in World War II where nobody else would do it. Now, she had trouble having kids of her own with many miscarriages. After so many, she just said she wanted to adopt children. So she was like one of the first people to adopt a lot of children of different colors and races and ethnicities. Hers was called the Rainbow Tribe. Now, the Rainbow Tribe was a bunch of different children that she adopted. Now, my brother from another mother, Crown Vic, right here on the phone, just happens to be Josephine Baker's great nephew. All the women in his family look just like her. This guy right here is Mr. Axel. He not from the French part of Compton. He from the Compton part of France. Mr. Axel is one of the grandchildren from the original Rainbow Tribe members. And that's us kicking it in Vegas, like 2015 or something. 